when the pandemic started, Kodak wanted to see what we could do to participate. We were making hand sanitizers, face shields, PCB boards for ventilators. And we started going down this path, but it was so early, there's nothing really to mention. We were just, one of our core companies has always been chemistry. Uh, for over a hundred years, we've been doing chemistry. And we do make some non-starter materials, non-regulated KSMs today. We realized we could do more. The government realized they could do more. They kind of reached out and uh, we, we found a path that makes a lot of sense for the uh, American uh, public to help bring the pharmaceutical protections back to America. This has been a pretty tight kept secret, obviously. We made it to the last day, basically. So um, I couldn't tell you what influenced that or didn't. I don't know if it was a well kept, it doesn't look like it was a well kept <laughs> secret. That, that, well, that. We, we, we knew for over a week. <laughs> Our expertise has been in chemical manufacturing. We're repurposing about a third to 40% of the buildings we have so we don't have new construction to uh, within this uh, entity as we build out. So by repurposing, reusing buildings that we already own, that drops a lot of our cost. This just isn't COVID-19. This is truly, you know, what was shown through the pandemic is the break in the supply chain. 90% of, you know, all most medications aren't even made in the United States. Right. We can't have that. We consume approximately 40% of them. And we need to bring this back. It's literally, this is why this is part of the Defense and the Defense Production Act. We have to protect our shores. We have to protect our people. We need to have these pharmaceuticals here. We're not the only ones doing it. You've seen India do it, Japan do it, others are following. You must have these drugs. It's almost, it's like the new war, if you think about it. Mm -hmm.